I already know there are dudes who immediately scrolled down to the comment section when they clicked on this video, and you know what they're doing right now? They're literally typing out an angry comment telling me why XYZ they can never be attractive. Oh, Matt, I have this weird looking mole on my face. Oh, Matt, my eyebrows are shaped funny. Oh, I'm too short. No girl will ever like me. Like, a part of me feels bad for those dudes, but the thing is, they're not even gonna watch this video. Like, all they wanna do is come to this video and complain because they got triggered by the title. But let me tell you right now, my brother who is watching this video, this is not a clickbait title. I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers. Like, I'm literally here to tell you that yes, anybody can become attractive. It is the truth. Here's the thing, I know not everybody can look like Brad Pitt, all right? We're not all gifted like he is, but here's the thing. Anybody can build muscle, anybody can lower their body fat percentage, doesn't matter what kind of genetics, what kind of card you were dealt, anybody can do that. You can get in the gym and build muscle. You can lower your body fat percentage by eating less food and moving more. And with that, you become more attractive. You build that body that you've always wanted. At the same time, as you lower body fat percentage, your face looks more angular and squared off as a man's face should. You should not have all this extra skin and fat underneath your fucking face, bro. That's ugly. Of course you're ugly right now, but guess what? You are in control of that. You are. You wanna sit here and go to the comment section and complain like the rest of those chumps? Be my guest. But here's the thing, bro. I know you're not like them. You are different because you want to be better. You understand that to get the results that most people don't have, you have to do the things that most people won't do. And like I was saying, bro, it doesn't matter what your genetics are, okay? Nobody cares, right? Life doesn't care, girls don't care. All that matters is that you have two choices here. You can either complain about it and just give up like all those black pillars, or you can do something about it. You can actually learn how to become more attractive, and I'm gonna share what I did in this video. And here's the thing, bro, if you don't have the best genetics, oh well, you have to work harder. What are you gonna do, give up? No, you're gonna work harder. I was naturally a skinny dude. I had to work to build muscle. It takes a lot of fucking time and effort to actually put on some Size. For my naturally skinny dudes out there, yeah, it's hard work. For my fat guys out there, yeah, it's hard work. For my short dudes out there, nobody is stopping you from building a good physique but yourself. Okay, even if you're short, you can become attractive by building a sexy body. Control what you can control, right? Don't complain and say, I'm short, I'll never get girls. With that attitude, you never will. Straight up. But if you say, no, I'm short, but I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna build a good physique. I'm gonna work on my confidence. You'll be able to attract girls. Obviously, a girl who's 5'10 is not gonna like you, bro. But who cares? Go for the girls that are shorter. In my opinion, I like shorter girls anyway. I don't wanna be with a girl that's taller than me. So if you're short, your pool is slimmer. But who cares, bro? Go for the short girls. Build yourself up. Become attractive. Anybody can do it. The cool thing about not being blessed genetically is that you actually have to work for your body. You actually have to put in the work and the necessary sacrifices to build a good physique. Compared to the dudes who are naturally athletic, naturally just look good, naturally are pretty boys in high school, bro. Like those dudes don't have to work for shit. They didn't have to work for their body. They could get under a bench press and probably outbench your ass right now without even trying. You've been benching for two years and guess what? They could still outbench you. But you know what's so beautiful about not being gifted genetically is the fact that once you do build that body, once you do put in the work that most people aren't willing to put in, you now value what you've built. I value the body I've built now because I came from not being attractive. I was a skinny, ugly little shit for most of my life. I was a cute little dude in high school Late bloomer, not attractive at all. I wasn't completely ugly, but bro, I was not gifted at all. I was not super attractive, let's put it that way. I've worked to look the way I do now. No, I'm not some Chad looking Brad Pitt type, but like I said, anybody can become attractive. Even if you were ugly, even if you're ugly now, you can. The dudes who were gifted genetically, like I remember this, all the dudes I went to high school with who hit puberty like at a very early age, they were like, getting all the girls because they were already attractive. They had like deeper voices, their, their faces were squared off. Meanwhile, I had this like weak chin, weak jawline. I was short, skinny, high pitched voice. But the dudes who were like gifted genetically and they looked attractive in high school, guess where they are now? A lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them are ugly as fuck now. And a lot of them have put on a lot of weight because all they've done is drink for the past four years in college. Like, bro, when you actually have to work for your body, it becomes something that you value. So all through your 20s, you're now gonna be taking care of yourself. And by the time you're 30, you will be so attractive. Like you're supposed to get more attractive as you age. That's how it works for a man. If you're a late bloomer in high school like myself, let me tell you right now, just stay patient, bro. Okay, you're not gonna be the most attractive guy yet. I didn't start working out until I got to be like 21 years old. And that's when my whole transformation began. Cause that's when I like finally fucking hit puberty. Literally, I didn't hit puberty till like 18, 19, 20, 21 years old. I'm still not even at my peak yet. Like I'm still working on my body, still working on my appearance because I know as I get older and older, I'm going to just continue to look more and more attractive. And that's the same for you. So have hope. I know in high school, if you're that dude who's got a high pitched voice and you can't seem to attract girls like bro, fuck it, who cares? Who cares? Because you're gonna work your way up to become attractive and then you're gonna value it and then you're gonna continue to be attractive all through your 20s, 30s, 40s. Whereas the dudes who were naturally gifted genetically, 
the pretty boys, the athletic types who didn't even have to work for that athletic build, they're gonna fall off in their 20s because they don't know what it takes to actually build that type of body. They were just gifted with it. But over time, as they age, it's gonna go away. They're gonna get fat, straight up. So before I end the video, I wanna give you the two main things that I did to improve my appearance and to become more attractive, all right? And those are semen retention, and working out. I'm telling you right now, when I was 21 years old, that is when I started semen retention, that is when I started working out consistently. And when I started, I was not attractive. I had a horrible haircut, my eyes were all fucking bloodshot all the time from all the weed I was smoking, my eye, I had eye bags, I had poor sleep. Didn't take care of myself, was skinny, hated my body. But when I realized like, no, I'm in control of the way I look. I am in control of my physique. I am going to become attractive. I hit the gym and I retained my freaking seed, bro. I stopped <clears throat> all the time. And if you don't know why that makes you attractive, let me explain, okay? When you retain your seed, you increase your testosterone by a lot. And guess what? When you increase your testosterone, that is your male hormone. You become more manly. You look more like a man. I stopped looking like a little child. I started to actually develop into a man. My face squared off. I have that masculine looking face, that sharp jawline. And no, it's not the best, but it's a lot better than what it was. Anybody can become attractive. This is the theme of the video. You can improve your looks, all right, bro? Hit the gym, get under that barbell. That barbell needs to be your best fucking friend. I made the barbell my best friend, all right, straight up. For a long time, back when I started hitting the gym, the barbell was my best friend and I built my physique. Semen retention at the same time is gonna hack your brain if you think about it, okay? When you're watching porn, when you're watching people have sex, your brain thinks you are the one in that scene. Your brain thinks you're the dude having sex. When in reality, no, you're not. You're just at home choking it, okay? So when you stop watching it, right? When you stop nutting, your brain is now confused. Your brain's like, hold up. The main thing, the main reason why I'm on this earth is to reproduce, but now this dude is not getting any action. And it's true, you're not. But when you're watching porn, you're tricking your brain into thinking that you are. So it's fucked up. But when you cut that off completely, when you stop nutting, now your brain is on your side working for you, okay? You need to become more attractive so that way you can attract a partner so that way you can reproduce. Whereas when you're watching porn all the time, there's no reason for you to improve. There's no reason, there's no drive and motivation for you to hit the gym. This is what worked for me, bro. I'm telling you. It might sound like BS, but I'm telling you right now, very powerful shit. So maybe I'll show some pictures of my transformation, but like you can see I was not gifted genetically. I was not a pretty boy in high school. I had to work for the physical appearance that you now see on camera. It takes time too. It's honestly so sad the amount of dudes that literally have given up hope. They have looked themselves in the mirror and thought, I'm fucking ugly. There's nothing I can do about it. Like how sad is that? You and I know that you can improve your looks. You and I know that it's all bullshit to just accept what you were given. You can fucking change the way you look. You can literally build muscle, bro. Of course you can, anybody can. Obviously, the dude who lost his legs, lost his arms, okay? I'm talking about the average guy. The average guy can become more attractive. But anyway, the dudes who, who wanna just complain, they're a lost cause, all right? I'm not even worried about them anymore. I'm just saying it's kinda sad. But you and I, we know. And that's why you've watched this whole video. So remember, bro, you have to do the things that most people won't in order to get the results that most people don't have. With that said, I've made sort of like a full guide on how to be more attractive. I think it's called Eight Ways to Be More Attractive. So go check that video out if you want. And at the same time, like the video, comment if you want, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.